Aloha everyone. My name is Talia and I am here at Dolphin Quest Oahu located at the beautiful Kahala Hotel and Resort and today I'm sharing with you a live chat or conversation with a marine mammal biologist. So everyone thank you for joining me today and welcome to this live feed. So aloha Dr. Fellman. Can you please share with the audience the name of the organization that you represent? Hey, uh, my name is Andreas Fallman. I work for a research foundation in Spain called uh, Oceanographic Foundation. And we are ba based in Valencia and do work on conservation issues with marine mammals, turtles, fish, everything in the ocean. <laughs> That's awesome! And can you tell us about your past groundbreaking studies at Dolphin Quest at the Kahala Hotel and Resort and how your current study continues this important work? So what we've been able to do is something that has been very difficult in marine mammals and especially in cetaceans is doing lung function studies and it's basically the same thing as you do when you go to the doctor and have what's called spirometry. So we've built a device where we can measure the, the amount of air that comes out when an animal is breathing or when the dolphin is breathing and when they're inhaling. And we also can measure the gases, so the oxygen and carbon dioxide when they're breathing. And with this we can assess the health of the lungs, we can assist the mechanics on how these animals are breathing and the adaptation they have for being able to dive really deep and for a very long time. And we can also measure the energetics. We can calculate the number of calories they need to do certain tasks. We can have them swim and then measure the metabolic cost. So we can have them hold their breath and we can measure how much that costs energetically. Wow, that's great. I mean, that's amazing information to help dolphins everywhere, correct? I mean, yeah, here yeah. and in the wild, right? Yeah, doing these studies on wild animals is really challenging. Uh, it has a lot of logistical and technological problems but being able to validate things here and being able to do this in controlled situations with animals under voluntary control so they participate when they want to is really really useful for us because we can get information on physiology under non-stressful situations. That's great because you just pretty much answered my next question <laughs> <laughs> which was because of this relationship that we have with our dolphins here um, our dolphins voluntarily participate in your studies, so it's yeah. fun for them yeah. to participate. Um, and the advantage of working with an accredited institution like Dolphin Quest, you just kind of answered that, right? Which is it's it's a lot of it's a lot of collaboration and it's a lot of teamwork with the trainers, with the veterinarians that we have here, and with the researchers that you know. When you do something over and over and over again, which oftentimes you do in research, it becomes mundane. So we try to vary things and we talk to the trainers and they say, oh, can we vary it to this? So we have several different projects, so we do several different measurements and then we can vary things to keep it stimulating for the animals, to keep them motivated to do these things. And it's invaluable some of the things that we can get here because we can finally measure some of these things that we've been thinking about for animals in the wild. And we can do that under controlled situations and, and actually pin down some of these measurements that will answer questions about how these animals live in the open ocean. And again, you've answered my next question, <laughs> which is how does the data you are able to collect here help wild dolphin populations? Um, these animals are under human care, so they don't do the normal things that animals do in the ocean and that has been a major criticism for some of the work that we're doing and we finally in last week we actually published a paper with the validations we've been able to do here and then study animals in the wild to show that the information that we get from these animals is actually valid it's the same as what we're getting from animals in the wild so it's this partnership with these institutions and them being able to do work with wild animals but actually validating the things that we're doing in controlled situations is extremely useful here and then we can go to the wild and test the animals in the wild. That's great so I mean again that's why I love Dolphin Quest is because um, what we do here really does help wild dolphins. I mean it's really directly contributing to the conservation of dolphins. Yeah it's a great partnership we as researchers these facilities really help us with this research. We couldn't afford this ourselves to keep animals on the human care, to train the animals. And these, the ability to be able to do this with these facilities and with a, with a company like Dolphin Quest that really values conservation and values research is extremely useful for us. Great. So 
I guess you would say that it's pretty important to continue to have the ability to work with an accredited zool uh, institution like Dolphin Quest here at the Kahala Hotel and Resort. I think for conservation research it's absolutely crucial to have these facilities, to have these facilities that value this, that, that prioritize these issues, that prioritize animal welfare for the animals that they have under their care, and also prioritize the research. And it's this interplay and it's this teamwork between several different players that I think is really important. And some of the information that we can get here, that we can obtain, we couldn't do with animals in the wild, or it would be extremely difficult to do. Right. Um, so you've contributed to several published peer review studies on dolphins that have involved Dolphin Quest data and collaborations with Dolphin Quest experts. Can you name a few of these uh, published works? Yeah, the first study we did was actually starting to look at the mechanics of the lung. How do the lungs function in these animals and compare them to, to animals that live on land and compare them to humans and to see what are some of the adaptations that they need to be able to dive deep and how are they different, how are their, their way of breathing different from, from land mammals and from humans. Mm. Then we did a study where we looked at um, the breathing frequencies, so often they breathe before and after exercise to try to see can we use this as an index of metabolic cost. And recently, like I mentioned, the tools we developed here have been used then to study animals in the wild. So this, while this was not done directly with Dolphin Quest, the research that we've done with Dolphin Quest has enabled us to do this work with animals in the wild. We've also done some work in Bermuda that is not published yet to compare animals, dolphins that dive really deep with animals that dive really shallow. The same species, but they do completely different things to see what are the physiological differences. And this was also a study managed and held by Dolphin Quest, partly funded by Dolphin Quest. So we're looking forward to publishing that in the future. And what we're doing here is, is quite exciting because we have one of the few people in the world that is actually able to see the heart of dolphins and we can look at something called cardiac output. So how much blood does the um, heart pump up per minute? And we can do this non-invasively. We can do this while the animals are still in their breathing and then we can ask them to hold their breath and we can see how the physiology of the heart is changing with these different things. So some quite remarkable <laughs> things and we're extremely lucky to have, to have this company to help us with this research. And, to have this collaboration. Wow, that's amazing. It's very interesting. I know very little bit about some of these uh, metabolic <laughs> functions of dolphins and I've worked around dolphins forever. So it's great to see that we're learning new things and that Dolphin Quest is providing you a place or an environment to do this in. So hats off to Dolphin Quest and to your team for um, being able to collect this kind of data. Um, so. Thank you very much for your time today um, and thank you for helping us make a difference for our ocean and the animals that call it home. Mahalo thank so you. much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you were able to learn a little bit more today about Dolphin Quest and about the research that we support here and how it contributes to animals in the wild as well as um, making it fun and different for our dolphins every day and for the guests that come here to learn more about dolphins. If you'd like to learn more, of course, visit us at dolphinquest.com. You can see some of the past um, studies that we've conducted as well as the current studies that are going on. And we look forward to hearing and learning, um, getting questions from you and helping you understand more about the great